The main thing I want to ask SolidWorks is, I want to know how can I simulate and study the bowling ball as it's traveling down the lane. If I am given the coefficient of friction of a ball as it's going through oil versus going through dry, I want to be able to simulate the ball roll based on the velocity of the ball, how much RPMs are on it, along with the core shape and the drilling. So that way I can give bowlers, our pro staff, and things like that insight into, okay, if you want a ball to do this, here's why you should lay it out and drill it. If you want a ball to do this, here's how you should lay it out and drill it. And possibly even give our pro staff a head, uh, a, a head up or a leg up on the competition, knowing that they're gonna go into certain field bowling alleys that have certain characteristics. I wanna be able to say, hey, here's what I think is gonna work and hopefully it will come true. So how do I do that? Thank you for the question. Um, you know, there, there are a couple ways that you could potentially do this, but probably the easiest is to uh, use our, our motion product. So let me start. You mentioned that you might you, you wanted to kind of account for different properties in the ball, right? So in this particular case, we've set up the bowling alley. The ball is actually made of a, a an internal solid body and an external solid body. So it's got an internal core that we can specify the material properties of, as well as kind of an outer shell. Now, um, we can go into motion, and the first thing that we need to do when we run a motion study is we need to define how the parts talk to one another. So basically we can set up contact between all of the bodies as well as account for any friction, right? So depending on the slickness of the floor, um, uh, we, we can account for that. Now the other thing that we can do um, with this study is obviously we can specify different initial velocities as well as um, RPMs to account for the spinning of the ball, right? So we have the initial velocity as well as the spinning. And then once we've done that, we can go ahead and run it for this particular um, orientation. And again, we've specified kind of uh, a distance away from center that, that, that the ball is. So it's, it's kind of offset from the midplane. And you can see in this particular configuration, we miss. Now, this is a kind of an interesting view to take, right? If we kind of look straight down the alley, um, what we'll notice is, you know, we're accounting for that spinning, right? So that RPM is obviously being taken into account. So what we can do now is we can actually set up a design study. And within that design study, we can add you know, some parameters. So we can look at things like, let's play with the initial rot uh, rotational speed of the ball. Let's play with the initial velocity. And here, I'll just show you how you can quickly add um, another parameter that maybe accounts for the offset from the center. So you can see there's, there's a plane in the center. There's a distance that's right now set to five inches. We can define that as the offset distance. And then we can play with exactly how we want those values to vary. So we can say, hey, look, we want that offset to vary range with steps, discrete values. We can add sensors, which basically monitor the movement of all of the pins. So that's what we've done here. So uh, we can say that during each of these runs, as we're varying the input parameters to try to bowl strike, um, you know, we can monitor and make sure that the displacement of all of the pins is greater than zero. So I've done it there for. Uh, pin number 10. Um, you can see I'm changing the offset value here to be a range with step. Let's say we want it to go from 2.5 inches to 15 inches. Again, offset from the center in steps of 2.5. You can see what that does is it sets up about six different scenarios. Now, if we add another input variable, like let's say we want the initial um, RPMs to go from zero to 200 RPMs in steps of, uh, let's say, 25. You can see what it does now is it adds all of those uh, combinations of those values, right? And obviously, we could add a third one for the um, velocity. But now, you know, if we go ahead and run those, here is a configuration that actually works. So you can see um, we're now bowling a strike. So we can go, uh, you know, impress all of our Big Lebowski uh, fan club members. So again, thank you very much. For